This is the story of a man named Mitt, a passionate orator. He speaks his mind with fire and grit, then thinks about it later. He may be rich, but he's no snob. Being real, he won't avoid now. So he told folks without a job, I'm also unemployed now. I mean, his poor wife only has a couple of Cadillacs. Even rich people take an occasional hit, like the billionaire GOP candidate named Mitt. In comments that he makes offhand, you'll find some real groaners, like trying to bet Rick Perry ten grand, and my friends are NASCAR owners. He made British enemies critiquing the Olympics. 374 grand in speaking fees to him is rather slim picks. As he said, he hardly made anything. Tone deaf remarks like that don't help a bit. For a guy who's always sticking his silver foot in his mouth, candidate named Mitt. To say he flip flops isn't fair, he has views and then he doesn't. Once for gun control and reforming health care, pro choice until he wasn't. He shares his opinions constantly in speech, email, and faxes. But wait, he needs his privacy, so just trust him on those taxes. He says he paid, that's all you people need to know. He only takes every legal tax break, that's a fit. Like a $77,000 write-off for upkeep of his wife's horse, and that's more money than most of us make in a year, candidate named Mitt. Now when Rush Limbaugh starts to roar, Mitt fires up to match him. He's not concerned about the poor, the safety net will catch him. He's on his boat or private plane around the country trekking and makes it clear that his campaign won't be dictated by fact-checking. So we got a few details wrong on the timing of that Libyan embassy memo. It's about politics, not facts. There's lots more material, but it's time to wind up this ditty about a guy who's a political etch a sketch who says he likes being able to fire people and says corporations aren't people, my friend. And his favorite movie star talks to chairs and he'd repeal Obamacare, but not the good stuff he likes, whose positions keep on shifting, but now he's severely conservative. Candidate named Mitt. Named Mitt.